What's going on, everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to... Oh my god, there's Dungeon Defenders news. Yep, that's right, we got some DD2 news today over on Chromatic's Friday stream. And next week, the teased, heavily teased content update for DD2 is finally coming. And they are going to finally bring back an old-time favorite and release a previously unreleased map. Uh, folks that have been playing DD2 for several years know that the Wild West map was teased several years ago, and that map never made it into the game. Now, this map is now coming to the game. The Wild West map will be here. It is a remake of the Throne Room and looks to be super fun to play. Now, another returning map is going to be the Carnival map. Uh, this one is back from 2015-2016, and it is finally coming back to Dungeon Defenders 2. Uh, this, at the time, back then, that was back in the Nightmare days, this was the hardest map there was to do. And uh, it looks like it's probably been toned down a little bit, but it is making its glorious return. Now, this map is also coming with an incursion version, I believe, as well. So we'll finally be able to hop on in and play the carnival map once again in Dungeon Defenders 2. Now, that's not all, y'all. There is more coming. There is Chaos 8 Expeditions and Prime 7 Incursions. Assuming the new map is going to be on Prime 7, uh, Chaos 8 Expeditions. So you're going to be able to play... Chaos 8 and get Chaos 8 gear dropping on the ground. Uh, there's going to be Chaos 8 maps flying as well. In this map that uh, they ran on the dev stream, Phil collected 8 Chaos 8 amps in the process of running through the map. So Chaos 8 amps are going to be dropping like crazy. Now what does this mean for right now? Well sure as hell don't go buying any Chaos 8 amps because they are about to become damn near worthless as far as gold goes as they're just going to be dropping freely on the ground. Now, adding in something to end game or something at the end in Dungeon Defenders 2 is going to be huge in my opinion, as it just is not Onslaught mode. Onslaught mode is what really drove the majority of players away from the game, and it's nice to see that Chaos 8 Expeditions and some sort of progress will be making its return. Now, with that in mind, new tier of expeditions means new enemy, and we got to look at those today. These are the spiders. Oh yeah, the spiders from Dungeon Defenders and Dungeon Defenders Awakened are coming into DD2, and these spiders are, in my opinion, it looks to me like it's probably an answer to everybody spamming Aura's traps and uh, beams over the last many, many years, and that is... This spider is going to web the ground, which is going to reduce the range, the damage, and the attack rate of the tower or defense in its range. Meaning this is going to hit Auras, this is going to hit towers, it's going to hit absolutely anything. This will be the new enemy that is making its way in. Now, uh, no clue how mods are going to affect that, of course. Is tenacity going to work versus them? If so, then it's probably not a big deal. Uh, you'll just be able to get your Chaos 8, 10 out of 10 tenacity. And, uh, you know, the Chaos 8 stuff is going to be dropping, so you may not even have to upgrade it to Chaos 8 if you get extremely lucky. Now, in addition to that, there will be some new shards and mods coming into the game. And additionally, there will be a new craftable tier, which is Chaos 9. Walt we'll also mentioned that you will be able to uh, go to the material conversion vendor and create these Chaos 9 amps to craft your Chaos 9 gear with. So Chaos 9 amps will also drop as well. No word as to where those will drop at, assuming it would be under the same type of system that it has now. And you will be able to convert those Chaos 8 gems or Chaos 8 amps up to Chaos 9 amps. So Chaos 9 coming as well, and hopefully that means Maybe there will be Chaos 9 Expeditions in the future as well. We will have to wait and see exactly what Chromatic decides to do. Now, in addition to that, there is a new material vendor coming. Uh, this material vendor is going to kind of close the loop on being able to purchase anything you want in Dungeon Defenders 2, and you will now be able to buy materials with Defender Metals and Gems. 
Of course, the update's not here yet, so we don't know if this is finalized pricing, but we did get a look at some of the prices coming for this material vendor. Now, when's this update hit? It hits next week. They didn't get a firm date yet, but it will be here on either on Wednesday or Thursday, and presumably on all platforms. Uh, Chromatics did say that they're already submitted to certification for Xbox and PlayStation. So hopefully Wednesday or Thursday next week, we get uh, this update into Dungeon Defenders 2, and it should be it should give players a few more hours of play and a little bit more time to dip back in and take a look back at Dungeon Defenders 2 at one of the old promised maps and one of just the old maps in general that used to already be in the game. The combination of Chaos 8 Expeditions and the Material Vendor will both be a very nice catch-up mechanic as well for any returning players and new players just starting Dungeon Defenders 2. So I will uh, put a link in the description down to the full VOD over where you can check out the maps being run on the full live stream from Chromatic down below. So thanks again, y'all, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.